Hi everybody, Jerry here. Another beautiful day in London. Can you see the sun? Wow, feels amazing. Um, and another great and tasty salad for lunch. Yum yum. Yeah, feeling good, feeling good. Had a slow start today. I just could not get out of bed and I'm not one to have a lie-in. Um, I mean, I, I woke up at seven, as I usually do, but I just couldn't get up. Uh, my head felt really heavy, as in I felt like I had um, uh, like a like a like a, um, a heavy weight um, just resting on top of my head, stopping me from thinking uh, and and just getting on with whatever I had to do. It happens sometimes, and you know when it does happen, all I have to do is take it easy and and wait until it um, it passes. So uh, now I feel a bit better. I had a shower, I had lunch. Again, when I have my lunch, I always feel better. You know, when I see all these colors, when I chop things away on my green chopping board, <laughs> um, I start to, you know, th this feeling of heaviness, of oppression, you know, starts to um, subside. And um, although it's a slow day, you know, I'm still up and about and doing things. And I've got to accept that, you know, it's part of, you know, living with depression. So um, today I want to talk about, I want to talk about, um, um, yeah, the feeling of, uh, the feeling of being an outcast, um, which basically triggers also um, depression at times. You know. I mean, we all like to think we all like to think that we are unique and very special, and we all are very unique and very special. Uh, but I truly believe that I am extra unique and extra special. <laughs> so, um, well, I, you know, I, 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 I believe that I was um, put on this earth to to fulfil, you know, um, a, a mission. A, you know, uh, quite a heavy duty task, which is basically to change the way people feel about stretching and flexibility. And um, and although I'm very proud of you know what I've achieved so far, I also feel at times that uh, progress progress um, can be uh, slow, um, and that is because. You know, when you are a visionary, which I think I am, when you are a uh, train setter, which I think I am, when you are um, a leader, which I think I am, um, and you offer something totally new and you know out of this world, which I think I do, then your job is a little bit more difficult, you know. It's not. It's not going to be. It was never going to be a plain sailing uh, journey. It was always going to have, you know, bumps along the way. Um, and that's fine. And I accept it. And I and I embrace them. And I totally get it. You know, I understand that change is challenging for 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 people at the best of time. You know. So. Um, it is what I've signed up for. <laughs> this is what I've signed up for. I've signed up for, you know, uh, uh, a missionary type of, um, you know, uh, life, um, and that's cool. That's that's what I that's what I stand for. <clears throat> but what I want to say is that at times I do feel like, you know, um, you know, the elephant in the room kind of thing. You know, I do feel like the the odd one out, and most of the time I'm very comfortable with that feeling. But at times, when I'm not feeling so great about myself, then you know I struggle with it. You know, um, and so you know I have a tendency to you know if I if I feel that overwhelming kind of emotion um, coming my way. I usually tend to 
isolate myself. Um, I usually like to stay indoors, you know, close the curtains, watch TV, um, eat and take it easy so that I can be with my feelings or process my, my thoughts. And, and usually after doing that for a day or so, you know, I have the ability to recharge and then I feel better again and then I feel, I feel able to, to conquer the world again. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, I, I need to be honest. You know, trying to introduce something totally new and totally uh, different from what people are used to or from what people know or from what people think they know is, is an exciting journey but it's a very interesting one too. So, yeah, so being, being, yeah, being, being unique is great, you know, um, being different is great, uh, but sometimes that feeling of uniqueness can also trigger your depression. And that's the point I'm trying to make here. Um, doesn't mean you have to stop being unique uh, you just need to be aware that sometimes it will make you feel isolated because you're, you know, you're, you know, if you're ahead of the game, ahead of the game doing something and people are not yet following you or not as many people are following you uh, as you would like to, then yes, you're going to feel, you're going to feel that way, especially when you know that uh, what you believe in uh, can make a strong impact in their life, you know, and everywhere, everywhere, you know, not just here in London, everywhere in the world, you know. So it's good, to, it's good to talk about it, it's good to express it, it's good to let it all out, it's good to, you know, to accept the fact that this is also part of the challenges I face on a daily basis with my work, you know, um, because my work is a very important part of my life. So it would be, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be healthy for me to pretend that sometimes my work doesn't trigger my depression, because it does, because of what I've just explained. Uh, having said that, um, you know, awareness is always the first step to change things. And so being aware of the trigger is one way to cope, to cope better with um, the situation if it arises. I think that's, that's it for today. Um, enjoy the rest of the day and I shall do the same. Bye for now.